Hey guys, we did not get a briefing from the CDC today, but we did hear from the president and the White House task force on the new coronavirus. And so wanted to pass on a couple headlines from that. Some are going to sound familiar, but I think they're important. The White House task force said in general that it is gonna get worse in America before it gets better. Dr. Anthony Fauci of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases says we have not peaked. So we are going to see more cases and more serious cases before we start seeing those numbers go down. That said, there was a very consistent message coming from the group that most Americans are going to do just fine with this illness. But for right now, the priority continues to be slowing it down. On that note, one of the things the president said, and he was only there for part of the briefing, is that he's considering a domestic travel ban. He wasn't specific. We don't know what cities or regions could be impacted, but he said that he's he's considering it. So we'll watch for that headline. The other thing that was brought up was this mystery of how exactly the virus is spreading and whether or not someone with no symptoms could be a carrier of the virus. That's one of the reasons why they're putting the social distancing in place. I think we're just fine here but I'm just gonna give it a little distance for effect. <laughs> I like talking to you guys nice and close. Um, in that though, I was sort of looking at, well, why social distancing? What lessons from the past are teaching the government about this current policy? And in a few different news articles today, I stumbled upon a study from 2007 where the National Institute of Health tasked two different research teams to look at public health measures during the pandemic of 1918, which was a terrible flu pandemic in America and all over the world. And here's the takeaway from the teams. The cities that put public health measures in place fast within a day or two of the very first case in the city had drastically better results in the cities that waited a week or two. In addition to that, both research teams came back with a similar conclusion. They said, if the government left these public health measures in place for a longer period of time than they did, which was on average two to eight weeks, the results may have been even better. The big takeaway from the National Institute of Health was intervention early matters. Do you wanna know who commented on that study? Dr. Anthony Fauci, who was in his role in 2007. In fact, he's been in his role since 1984 through multiple administrations. So I don't know if this is exactly the study that they're using, a lesson from the past to inform the present, but I thought it was really interesting and I'm gonna put it on the website so you can see it as well. Final takeaway, the president announced a national day of prayer. Secretary Ben Carson, who's a surgeon, who's also in the president cabinet said today that what makes America great is our faith and our ability and desire to help our neighbors. I thought that was kind of a good message to pass along today. So questions, comments, let me know. In the meantime, have a great night and more updates always on smarternews.com. Love seeing you guys.